Today was the launch of our uh, new season, the first season in the new theatre, and to be able to put the flesh on the bones to tell people what we're actually going to stage in the new theatre is, is very exciting. A wonderful day. First of all, with just an extraordinary number of people who, uh, who turned out uh, to celebrate the new programme, and I suppose most of all looking forward to the opening of the new theatre uh, later in the spring, and accompanied, of course, by a, a really delightful programme uh, of events around it, lovely artists, uh, representative of the kind of um, art that we might see, expect to see in the Lyric uh, uh, after it opens in the springtime. This happens to be the 60th year of the Lyric and today in our programme we're also celebrating two 30th anniversaries. The first of which will be the second play on our Northern Bank stage, Dockers, by Martin Lynch. I'm delighted that the Lyric is doing, is doing Dockers. I feel a great fondness and affection for the Lyric uh, and a great debt to it over the years. Huge amount of talent here. We don't need to go to London or anywhere else to create that talent and give it a platform. We simply have to provide the world-class conditions here, which maybe haven't been there before. And when we do that, Stand back and watch. I'm part of a team that's putting together, or well, writing an adaptation of a book called The Little Prince, um, which some of you may or may not know. And uh, we're writing it as an original musical, which opens this coming Christmas at the Lyric. And uh, it should run for a couple of months. It's a very inclusive book, and uh, in that, We've been writing it from the point that, that for anyone from the age of six onwards up to infinity could come and watch it. And I think that there's something, uh, it encompasses every, the whole gamut of emotions. And, and um, it's, a very, it's a very beautiful story. And I think that if we get it right, um, it should be something that anyone can find something in you know, themselves. It's my first time in Belfast, actually, and we didn't really know what to expect. And, and uh, it's quite obvious how, how important this building is to Belfast and that uh, it's, a, it's a real privilege for us to come and, and do, a, do a, an original show here. I will be directing in uh, September, we'll be opening it in sort of the last part of September. We'll be doing a comedy called The Painkiller, which I've adapted from an original French modern farce by a guy called Francis Weber. I'm very lucky to be able to announce the main casting for the play in advance, and I'm delighted to tell you that the part of the hitman, Ralph, will be played by Kenneth Branagh, and the part of the suicidal Brian will be played by comedian Rob Brydon. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be doing it here, to get the opportunity to do it here, to get the opportunity to do it in such a new and such a as I can see from today, loved theatre, um, it's a real honour to be here. The new building is not an end in itself, it's only a means to an end. The critical thing from the lyrics point of view is to put on fantastic top quality theatre, to employ lots of local people as writers, directors, actors, technicians, and to make sure that local audiences and audiences from outside Belfast and Northern Ireland want to come and see what we put on. I'm very pleased with the way things went. We've had good reaction, people seem enthusiastic. The litmus test for us will be uh, if people go off and buy tickets um, when the box office opens very soon. And um, talking to a few people, I think they're going to do that. So um, we're all very pleased.